So Yeta, hi. 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 Good morning or afternoon. Morning. It's after, afternoon for you, huh? I guess. Yeah. It's one hour <laughs> later. Yeah. So uh, welcome uh, and uh, to the class. Uh, what would you like to play? I will play uh, Concertina by Ennio Bolino. Okay. He yeah. said, whenever you want to ask something, do it. Uh, so feel free to stop or whatever, okay? You can start when... I have to apologize for the materials very fresh for me. And I've gone through the first two pages. That's what I prepared. Yes. So, to variation number three. Okay, sure. Please. Very good, nice. Listen, what is the? Do you know what it means con umorismo in Italian? Not really. I was just wondering that before the lesson. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's not difficult. Okay. It just means with humor. With humor, okay. With humor. So like you know, like you are making. Yeah, like joking, fun thing, you know, it, it's really, for me, you know, Porino was, fa was famous to play this, to write these beautiful melodies and then suddenly make some dissonances. Yeah. It was typical for him, like, oh, shit. And then suddenly was something like, oh, what, what, what is this thing? <laughs> it was strange, no? And for me, sounds very characteristic, this beginning, yum, pom, 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 bada, bam, ba. It, it could sound like a... A piece that could be like I don't know, trumpet voluntary from you know some some something like that you know like this kind of the classics of the trumpet you know like trumpet should sound these kind of things and then suddenly you have pom 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 and this is really characteristic you know so this we have to be sure that this sounds like it is. Mm. Thank <laughs> you. 
So when the yum pa pa pam pam pam, this is also very important. It's like another theme. Yum pa ra dum pam pam pa ra dum pam pa da da di 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 da di 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 da di da di da da. Okay, so you know. No, don't do fast. Don't do fast. It's not a problem. You know, the funny thing is the last two days I'm practicing this concerto for you because I did never play this concerto. Okay. <laughs> so I spent the last two days practicing this. So, Very good. so but uh, no, anyway, and I tried to, to think what could be interesting musically. And I think what it is interesting musically here is those kind those change of harmonies make very sure that the first four bar they sounds like this kind of classic concertos that we we, we just thought about and then play uh the the actually the accent the accents that are written just played it you know okay please Yeah, you can you can continue it was much better you can even play more you know like with more humor you know now it's a bit serious this beginning to me and now you played for two times the this bar one is Pom, 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 pom. you play still f sharp there you still play e natural but I'm yeah, not sure. I was listening to the recording. It was it was F sharp. Yes, I know. I also listen, but I'm not sure that it is this is a mistake, printed mistakes. Knowing, I'm not sure uh, yeah, we should. And uh, now I don't have the I don't have the part. I don't have the part from the piano, but we should check this. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, I would no. I mean, knowing how he's what well, now, how he writes him, how Porino writes, I would not be surprised that he put it appositely a mistake. So, anyway, we should we should investigate, but it's not very interesting now. So just uh, uh, play this. You can play sharp as you did before. It's, it's fine for me. Just play it with more humor, with more fun. Eh? Understand? So don't don't think that you are doing what you are doing. Actually, <laughs> just just enjoy. Yeah. It is also F sharp. Good, continue. No, it's not a problem. I was wondering, how do you practice these kind of things? Well, I went slowly and I sang the notes by the piano because so I don't miss it, you know, it's just, I know I always have to hit the, um, the D, the D note, and I just, I just play slowly. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's very good. What I did do in these days, I just, I only play the, the notes on the beat, you know. Yeah, also that. Yeah, without the high. And 
this is if you have this clear then you know that it pop 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 this is easy <laughs> yeah. it's always there huh? I did that too okay a legato it's always nice to play long legato you know to understand is what I always do when I, I make when there are some technical thing I always try to find the melodies into the technical to practice the melodies and practice legato slow but at least the harmonies or all the changes are very clear in my head uh, and then you just go around with fingers or at least you try to go around with fingers you know that's what I do actually I try but okay no we, we we can continue we can continue but i was i wanted to make sure that you were practicing this in the right okay. the right way which you are doing so but do also legato do also legato okay uh, should i repeat no 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 continue continue Yes, please. Musically, I will phrase it a bit different, like... about that here dim da da rim pom pom da 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 rum pom pom this also you know when you have when you have this thing i always practice legato you know to make sure that everything every note sounds good same quality uh, of a sound good tuning and that's, that's, you have to make sure this is there all the time every time eh? mm -hmm. you want to try for me to play the gato this slow yes. oh. You can even be more um, precise with the tuning if you want. I mean, now we can continue, but if I would practice myself this, I would work a bit more in the tuning, like on the center of the nose. Like when you start it, the G, do, the F is a bit too high.
Yes. And this is a work, this is a work that we can do all the time with anything, you know, just to play the long tones to make sure that they sound good, they sound in the, they are in the center, you know, where they, they are supposed to be. And then the, the, yeah, the tuning is also there. So yeah, we have to make sure about that. Okay. You can continue if you want. Oh, it's very nice yeah this is your choice musically i wouldn't play i wouldn't play like that there but uh, i will play one one long phrase longer a bit longer phrase in a way and i would even not take the breath that i did now actually if i would have more time to practice i would try to do in one breath oh, i would try to now now I, I took it a breath but actually it was very ugly anyway i would have practiced i would have do better you know Wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you You can continue, absolutely. It's very nice. I would like to feel more um, more tension in a way in, in this legato. It's a bit, bit uh, like, you know, soft. And it, it evens right molto legato. That means, as I said before, every time I play legato, every time I do something, I really focus in what, what I can make between the notes, you know. For me, that's the main thing in the music, you know. So for me, the music is what is happening between all these notes that are written, actually. That's what makes the thing interesting, you know. more tension in a way like you know everything is alive everything is up yeah you want to try once to play this legato for me
Yes, brava, brava. It was much better. The beginning, I liked it much more. The beginning. Then, then you, you, you got a bit back to the first, to your, to your own idea after. And uh, please try to hide as much as, as, as good as possible, as much as possible, the, um, when you take breath in these kind of circumstances. Mm -hmm. You can prepare the breath, you can hide it, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's difficult to hide the breath. I rather don't take it. <laughs> this is why I always try to practice this very long phrase, because I, I prefer to don't take to don't take a break. You know, in, instead of do it. Yeah. But if you have to, then then try to practice to hide it as much as possible. Okay. And where would be a good place to take the breath? Oh, where you did it? Where you did it? Where you did it? Or you did it. Yeah. Do you want to continue or, or not? I stopped here. I got this piece a week ago. Oh, wow. Okay. So, very good. Bravo. So, you did very good. Yes, we're, we're all very impressed. So, that's why wow. we're the best today. That's very good. Very good. And you did it. Uh, wow. Then uh, you did a good job in one week. Very good. Okay, so Yeta, you want to also to do some orchestra excerpts, no? Yeah, we're going to do uh, together again with Jan. We have some left. Okay, fantastic. Listen, do you have any? Do you have any? Um, do you have any questions uh, like technical things? Uh, some I don't know, whatever. Well, of course, I have the same. I think Dan talked about it about the shallow breath. Well, this piece isn't, um, it's not that, you know, fast, I would say. It's okay, I think there's time to take breath and stuff. But usually I also have a problem with taking deep and uh, good breaths when there's no time. And then I start, you, in, I start choking on my own breath, you know, taking these shallow breaths up and up and yes, up. Yes, I understand. Listen, <clears throat> of course, we don't have to breathe all the time. But sometimes it's a bit it's a bit a stereotype the fact that we always have to breathe <gasps> this yeah. you know sometimes it's just not possible you know sometimes it's just not possible and sometimes it's just it's not needed it's not needed it's not possible and this yeah so it's not it's not even efficient sometimes so we don't have to think that we always all the time have to breathe deep you know this is this is not true. We do, it doesn't have to happen all the time. The thing is like, you, I think what is important is that even you don't breathe all the time full and deep, then you don't get tension in your body, you know, that you are not. Yeah. That's very important. So to don't get too tense that you cannot, you cannot do anything, you know, that's the thing. But how do you breathe? Depends what I'm playing. Depends what I'm playing. For example, when I'm playing the second part of Haydn, I just yeah. make sure that I'm I'm up, and I breathe high. That what I have to do is is in this register. So I just focus on that. So I don't breathe like oh, I have to play. I don't know. You know something like this. When I play piccolo, I also focus on on this part. You know, on this part. That this part. You know. Yeah, of course, from this up, you know, that's, that's the thing. And then depends, you know, it's not all the time, it's not always the same, you know, it's not always the same. It depends what you are doing and what you have to do. Okay. Hmm? Sometimes I breathe with a nose because with a nose it goes deeper immediately, you know. Yeah. You have to blow your nose and stuff. Yeah. And it's not possible to breathe. But I also got the feeling that it goes deeper when I it does go deeper. Inhale through nose. It does go deeper, yes. It does go deeper. 
So all these things, all these things are something that you have to experiment yourself. But remember, there is not one way and there is not a rule that ah, it, you have to breathe with an open mouth. Don't make, you know, yes. Just when you feel it goes deep, then it thrives, you know? Yeah. When it goes like, then you can know that you can hit that note or whatever. Yeah. So, thank you very much. No, of course not. I mean, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. So, what what do you play? What what orchestra thing do you play now? We're gonna play uh, something from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Okay. Um, um, what else do we have? Jan is gonna join me again. I'm gonna join Jan. Okay, that's good. You have a very nice D. Can you play another note? <laughs> no, no, it's a, I mean, there is no much to say about this, this passage, you know, it's, yes, it's very good. Just finish together, start together and finish together. You know? That's the most important thing, you know. Yeah, the thing is I'm playing in a B trumpet, Yes, yeah, I'm playing in a C trumpet. No, but it sounds good. It really sounds good from here about this. Just make sure that you don't play tet to the tet to the tet to the too short. Okay. It's always. Okay. Not that. There is no accent, like, no. No, this is fourth. All, all, the, all the way? I mean, the beginning? What do you mean the beginning? The, like the first two... Mezzo. Oh, this one. Papadom. Yeah, Papadom. Papadom. Yeah, yeah. Mezzo, mezzo forte and then crescendo okay. forte, yeah. Pompadom. Pompadom. Yompadom. Pompadom. 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 Yompadom. But let's not do this again. Again, it was very good. Just make sure that you don't play too short. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, we'll 
Okay. Yes, very good. Can you hear me? Very good. Bravi, bravi, bravi. Listen, what I will do, what I what I think about this uh, passage is uh, at least when I play myself, I don't play everything one dynamic. Actually, I make I try to make it much more in interesting that how is you know. Now it sounds with one dynamic, with but actually I try to make a lot of phrasing in between. And if I will be you too. I would practice this soft together and make sure that the chords are there, like the tuning is there. So I will not play loud, I would play soft. And just works note by note, but it can be. But as a phrasing for the first trumpet, I like when, I, when it sounds like this. back and forward is not all the time you know it's a bit i find it boring like that you know so i make it sharp and it's very important that the ti -ra -ra -ra, dum -ti -ra -ra -ra, this is there this is the trumpet moment really and the rest is it's a joy joyful moment it's a joy, you know, this is a drunk moment, <laughs> which is also nice, but <laughs> not, you know, so the, this is smiling. This makes, this makes me smile. The other one makes me think like, oh man, yesterday I had such a headache, you know, <laughs> okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah. And then, of course, when you work it in two, that has to be, you have to agree with this phrasing. So this also has to come. But first, if I would work with my section, with my, in this case, we, there is no section, only second trumpet, I would make sure that what we do is like, we are sure that, you know, the chords are there, the tuning is there, you know, that, you know, everything is there, is in balance and stuff. So you can try, excuse me, you can. So we don't have to play that loud also. No, not at all, no, not at all. Okay. The loud moment is only ti ra ra ra. And then ta ra ra. And even when I play in the orchestra, this is something probably I should not say. <laughs> now I leave to the second trumpet 
Pam, 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 pam. I don't play that. I take a nice breath there. So I, the first trumpet, I don't, I don't play this. I, I let to the same pam, 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 and then I start again. And when it, again, the second time is pam, 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 pam. I just let, I leave this to the second trumpet. But let, you know, I don't play this. Pam, 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 pam. Understand? And I asked my second trumpet to play that. They, they are kind, gently do all the time. <laughs> In exchange of a beer. <laughs> okay, let's do let's do once for me. Let's try once for me. Just play the first like four bar slow and mezzo piano to make sure that the chords are in the right, you know, you are playing in tune with the right, you know. Okay, good, 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 very good. Now, I think what you should do is is that the second trumpet plays the the C, so the D, the D. You play your first note, the second trumpet, first. Yes. So she plays first, and you based on her, based on her. You play your note. Okay. Yes, and you keep yet you keep your long your note long. Okay. Yes, I think actually now the tuning is quite good, but it's a bit too loud. The first one is a bit too loud compared to the second, so is the balance a bit less? Hmm? But keep this tuning. This tuning was good. So it is a, it's true, it's a third, but I also think sometimes, yeah, yeah anyway, let's not talk about this. It's a bit, sometimes we, we are so fixated with thirds that we play the thirds too low because we are super fixated that it doesn't have to be sharp, the third. But I mean, not even flat. <laughs> it has to be good. <laughs> So it's good now. <laughs> Let's play it. So yet uh, you start, eh? you, you keep your long note and you and then you try to balance the to, to don't play too loud. Eh? Okay. Okay. So, please, please. Then we continue slowly. And when you when you hear there is something doesn't work, you stop and you play that note. You stop on the note that you think is not good. Eh? Okay. Thank you guys listen guys i think i think that the first one is too is too much i mean oh yet yet or you play louder and then do it okay. <laughs> but i would say yanni is play a bit like uh, one dynamic less also okay so yet a bit one dynamic more yanis one dynamic less okay. okay and don't play too slow you can do it from whatever you want don't play too slow also <laughs> 
fuori. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You know, now I think the balance, the, ba the balance wise was a bit better. And don't, um, now the articulation, be careful that it doesn't become too, too funny now. <laughs> it's happy, but not funny, you know, it's happy, you know. Okay. And then the other thing is, uh, when, you, when you try something, you try a chord, you try one note, if you are not super satisfied, if it's not good, as good as, you know, like there is, don't continue, just fix that, you know, yeah. fix that. Don't go, don't go, don't let it go because then if it's not fixed, it's not fixed. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Do when you do it. Mm. This is the balance should be. This is the dynamics. You play da and the other one. This this will sound good. You can you try? Is the balance was good because the, the quality of the, the the quality of the e natural it can be better you can even try to play one two and a bit of the the slide open you know no you can even play this e and you can play you can play with a with a slide you know uh, and you find it where it is, you know? Yes, this was okay, but not too loud, please. Yanis, not too loud. And think about a warm sound, warm air. Warm sound, warm air. Not, not, not cold air, warm. Like the sound, the concept of the sound, I don't like, you know, I don't like when, when we, we, we think about projection. I think that the sound has to be everywhere. You know, the sound, my, my, my idea of a sound is that I'm in the middle of my sound. You know, the sound is hugging me, it's everywhere. It's like, I mean, it's a huge bubble, you know, and I'm in the middle of a bubble. So I, I, what I want to achieve with my sound is that I, I, I make the, the, the space full of my sound. So I don't project like this. This is not my idea of sound. It's not one directional. It's not monodirectional, my sound. I don't want that. It's like, I would like, the, it's a resonance thing, you know, that develop naturally everywhere. This is a very important concept about this, you know. And what we have to achieve now is this is, a, this is like, this is really directional. It's really projected in the whole. While I have to think that you should hug everyone. You should hug, yet you should hug everybody in that room. You should just make everything full of sound there, you know. So I do one step back, warm hair, and like this instead of that. Okay? Let's try. One, two, one, two. One, two. And open a bit, open a bit.
It's okay, guys. No, it's okay. It's okay, guys. This is a very, this is a tough piece, you know. All this symphony is a tough piece, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you play like I told you, with this kind of phrasing and also dynamics, not too loud, not too sustenuto, to not too pushed, you will see that it gets much more, much lighter. Yeah, you know, for me, this always, it's always has been like a challenge, a challenge piece because I always finish this piece I was destroyed because it's really heavy especially if you play with German trumpet which we do it's give, it gets even even heavier a bit because the sound of German trumpet is really run, to go out of the orchestra you even need a bit more energy but uh, but um, now since I started to think like this in this way with this phrase in musical phrase I actually f feel much more uh, um, much better actually and be careful every time we do things that are not important just play light light like for example at C this you have to play but all the rest is like mezzo piano and this you play like before so it sounds very weird if you play it in the room alone because hey, man, what are we doing? But it worked very, very good. This is a fee being that means being very efficient in the orchestra because this will be perfect in the orchestra, you know. So that we have to be smart, you know. And of course, this comes also out of experience, of course. Uh, to to play more, you play more, you learn these things. But it's very important. So don't spend energy where it's not necessary. Uh, okay. And then as a, I, I suggest you guys to really work uh, on this concept of a sound that I told you before, you know, like that the sound gets much warmer, full of harmonics. And you think about warm air, you know, like that you are making with a mirror, you're making this foggy, the foggy mirror, you know? So this kind of idea, this kind of concept. And also that the sound is going behind you as well. You also need to feel the space that is behind you, you know? It, I think it will help you to don't be all the time like this, you know? But also to be, you know, and even to find this kind of relaxation. Because if you are tensed, this will never happen. You know, it's like that you percuss a tympano, but you keep you keep your hand there, like boom, boom. Now the tympano needs this, you know, relax it. Of course, tension, but not even too, te too tense, because if it's too tense, it will not vibrate. And this is exactly the compromise we have to find, you know? Okay. And be careful, a technical thing, be careful when we get tired, etc. mostly, also, especially in the AC, this you, you got you got very sharp, a bit. Okay. Anyway, let's not do this again because otherwise you destroy yourself for nothing. But just practice as I as I suggested, please. Okay. Then you will write me a message. You will say you were right. It's not so heavy as it as it was actually. I just feel Hopefully. like uh, yeah, it's very heavy, and I, I would like to play a little bit more quiet because when I just. I just force myself to play louder because I have to be a little bit louder than him. And I you know I have to support him as a second trumpet. Yeah. And uh, just keep, you know, forcing. And then I get tired very easily because I have these jumps, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, sometimes I miss and I just don't want to play that loud and that, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's not needed. It's not needed. It's really not needed. Yeah. yeah, it's not needed. You know, the loud comes, the loud doesn't have to come from force. It has to come from energy. Yeah, energy is lacking. Really. You know, you know it's like you are spreading energy, energy you know. Out. Exactly, you're spreading energy, you know. So that's very important, you know. Yeah. Okay, do you want to play the last thing? You have this, uh, what do you have to do? Yeah. yeah. Let's do Thank you. 
Is this actually very light, you know? Don't play to ta 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 ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ma. Da 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 and play a bit more crescendo. <laughs> yes. We found yeah, it's it's like hard, but we always have trouble with the last bar. <laughs> yes, I suggest you, I suggest you, of course, everyone, but when we go in this register, don't play too short. You know, for example, it gets a bit like this. This is what I do. Otherwise, the risk is that you blow the notes and that the notes doesn't come, you know. Mm -hmm. But I do this. So you will not notice, but the notes are there because on the speed, you will not notice they are longer. But this will be much more helpful as a technique for the trumpet. It's not, you know, you you hear the difference. Oh, just play a bit longer. Practice the fingers, but this is okay. This is a good idea. Okay. Then the rest you just have to practice. But yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You there is something more from this? No. No. Oh. So, wait, okay. I then I this. Two pieces. Excuse me. Um, this piece. I mean, it's from Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Romeo and Juliet. This is the. Yeah. We had dance with mandolins. But our teacher noticed that it's just not two trumpets. It doesn't work with two trumpets. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, so we got cut. Need like, more trumpets. Yeah, need more trumpets. Okay, okay, guys. So. Does anyone, any one of you have uh, questions about anything? Anything? No. Um, uh, thank you for the opportunity. No, oh, thank you, guys. I listened to some of your tracks and you're impressive. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you for the notes. It's really cool, yeah. Thank you. Uh, my pleasure, guys. And hopefully, hopefully we will have opportunity to meet each other uh, yes, face to face. And uh, we really hope we will be back with the orchestra uh, mm -hmm. next summer so in uh, Riga. That would be so, <laughs> So hopefully we will meet each other there and uh, can have a beer together. Uh, but for me, it was it was it was I'm very thankful to your school uh, and uh, of course to your teacher that gave this opportunity. And I'm very happy that even in those times where it's difficult to travel, to meet new people, to get a new uh, good vibe and and, and good energy, uh, we we st we are still possible to do this. So. Just keep going, keep practicing. Don't forget to have fun uh, when, when you do things, because this is actually the main thing when we do. Eh? Yeah. And don't be too hard with yourself, you know. Of course, we need to challenge each, each other all the time, because that's, that's how we improve. But uh, it's also good to just, you know, 
keep the good spirit huh? okay yep. thank okay you. guys ciao thank you very much ciao. Thank you.